Mauna Loa's lava slowly sizzling towards civilization, with one of the big island's main arteries of transportation in its path. The steadily erupting volcano spewing lava towards the Daniel K. Inouye Highway, traveling at a speed of nearly one mile per hour. And as that flow reaches flatter land, it could slow down, but a breach could come as early as tomorrow. The terrain is what's slowing it down, there's no doubt about it. It's also getting more distant from the vent, so it cools. Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano, and it's erupting for the first time in nearly 40 years, painting the skies bright orange as the fiery lava bubbles over. In some places, authorities believe it could last up to two weeks. The other big operation that we're facing is thousands of residents and visitors that are flocking to the eruption site to view this current Mauna Loa eruptions, creating a safety hazard. Geologists say the volcano is spewing the equivalent of 10 dump trucks of lava every second, and streams are yards deep in some places. Officials are discussing potential plans to divert the lava if that threat becomes too great, but they admit it's a difficult task. The fastest it can possibly get to the, the highway right now is, is two days. Will it get to the highway? I can't tell you that. Will it turn, go to Hilo? Can't tell you that. For now, authorities are keeping a close watch on that flow, though they don't believe there is an immediate threat to nearby communities. There's still concern about air quality due to volcanic smog. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.